above the matriarchs, beyond anybody else in the Bible, this woman is my heroine. Jay was a poet. They've discovered enough fragments of her poetry to realize that she was a poet the equal of Homer or Shakespeare. She wrote during the final years of King Solomon's reign. And the intellectuals in that period were heavily into literature. She researched 1,500, 2,000 years worth of legend, mythology, songs, ritual. And she wrote this Homeric epic poem, which she called uh, Genesis, Exodus, and Numbers. And it was poetry. She's called J because she invented Yahweh. And she wasn't inventing that old guy in the Sistine Chapel giving the finger to Adam. She invented Yahweh as a poetic metaphor. Real art <laughs> happens from inspiration. And inspiration is that connection with the ineffable, with the unknown. And that's what makes art so important. It's my religion. She, however it came to her, put that word down, Yahweh, and when she died, the redactors moved in, the suits from the head office. <laughs> they needed to structure a real organized religion. Poetry disappeared, rules started being added, uh, but she wrote the first draft. Those same guys who took it all over said, wait a second can't have a woman writing the first draft of the Holy Scriptures. So they gave it to Moses. <laughs> Why not? He's as much an invention as Yahweh. There it is. So I happened to be reading and I came across two sages arguing about the translation of a word. One sage says, that word means beneath. The Jews were waiting beneath Mount Sinai for Moses to bring down the law. The other sage says, uh-uh. It means underneath. Well, I think, wait a minute. What is he talking about underneath? They're in a mine, a cave, a tunnel, what? Well, I was at the rock yard where I buy a lot of stone from my bases. And I saw this camel rock, rock there. And I said to the rock guy, hey, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to do something with it, deliver it, I want to look at it. And I looked at it every day for six months when I came into the studio every morning. And one day, I knew it was this. Oh!